Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I am so grateful for you all and my long term subscribers. I appreciate you so much. Today we're going to work on making a cow and I was supposed to do this a very long time ago. I made a short for it and completely forgot about it. So we're going to work on that today. I have not forgotten about our crochet for a week weekend so i'm going to use a six millimeter hook and i'm going to use my very red yarn here that i got from joanne and as always all the tools will be in the description box below so we're going to start off with our slip knot and if you are a beginner and you don't know how to make the basic stitches of crochet i do have an absolute beginner's tutorial that you can check that out so I'm gonna I have my yarn double because I want this to be nice and thick. You don't have to use a double yarn if you don't want to. You can use uh, one strand and use a five millimeter hook. So let's start with our slip knot. And I'm going to make a chain of 71. You do not have to make it this big, but I want mine to droop a little bit in the front. So I'm going to make 71 chains going around. I'm going to show you how to join your chain without it twisting. So make about five chains and pull your loop up a little bit. Just enough so that you can get your hook out. Remove your hook and put it in that very first chain that you made. And back into the loop that you removed your hook from and continue making your chains and that's the best way to keep it from twisting so go ahead and pause and make your chain and I'll be back okay so I have my 71 chains going all the way around make sure it's nice and even going all the way around and it's not twisting up it shouldn't but just make sure we, all your stitches are facing the correct way so go ahead and slip stitch those two ends together and chain two. Now we want to have a total of 71 chains. So you're going to skip that first stitch where you made your slip stitch into and go into your next stitch with a double crochet. And you're going to just make one double crochet in each of your stitches going around. I'm going to use the back loops here of each of those stitches. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can go into the front loops if that's easier for you. But I'm going to make my chains in the back loop here. And when you get to the end, you should have 70 double crochets going all the way around. And we will continue from there. I'll be back. Okay, so I have my 71 double crochets here where I'm putting my last one in. That's my last one. And I have my 71 double crochets going all the way around. So I'll go ahead and take your slip stitch or your hook and make your slip stitch and chain two again. And now we're going to make one more row of double crochets going all the way around. Again, just the same thing. One double crochet in each of your stitches going all the way around. When you make your chain two, go back into the same stitch with your first double crochet and continue around. When you get to the end, you should have 71 double crochets and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we have 71 double crochets going all the way around. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch and chain two. Now we're going to go into making our bobble stitch. So the first thing we're going to do is make one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. When you get to your 11th stitch, you're going to make a bobble stitch. So the way that you make your bobble stitch is yarn over, go into your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over again, 
go back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. One more time, yarn over, go back into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have seven loops on your hook. Now, if you're using two strands, remember two strands counts as one. So I have seven. I'm going to yarn over and pull through six. That leaves me two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through two, but do not chain. Now go ahead and make one double crochet into the next 10 stitches and repeat that pattern around. And I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of the row now, and I have three more stitches left, so I'm just going to make three double crochets in these final stitches here. Now we're moving on to the next row, which is row four. Go ahead and slip stitch into your first stitch, and then chain two. Now we're going to make two more rows of double crochets. Row four and five will be rows of double crochet. When you're done, you should have 70 double crochet at the end of the row. So I'm not going to do this on camera. When I come back, I will have rows four and five done. Go ahead and pause the video and make your rows and I'll be back. Okay, so now I have rows four and five done nothing but double crochets go ahead and slip stitch and chain two now we're going to go on into our next pattern which is our front post and back and just our front post double crochets so in your first stitch you're going to make one double crochet in your next stitch make a front post double crochet yarn over go into the stitch and come out the other side yarn over pull up a loop and make your double crochet that is your front post double crochet so you're making a front post double crochet in every other stitch so once you've made your front post double crochet in your next stitch you'll just make a regular double crochet and this alternate back and forth you just still have 70 double crochets well you'll have 35 double crochets and 35 front post double crochets so I'm going to make these all the way around and I'm going to meet you when I get back to the beginning close to the beginning that is so pause your work and I'll be back okay so your last double your last stitch should be a front post double crochet go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch and chain two now we're going to do another row of front post double crochets we're going to do two more rows of your front post double crochet so just like you did before you're going to start off with a first with your first stitch will be a regular double crochet and then your next stitch will be a front post double crochet so you're going to do this for round seven and eight and again you should have 35 double crochets and 35 front post double crochets Go ahead and pause your work and pause the video on me and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. And again, your last stitch should be a front post double crochet. Now, slip stitch again into that first stitch and chain two. So now we're going to go into another row of bobble stitches where we're going to go into another row of our um, uh, double crochets first. I want to lay down a foundation for that. So in each of your stitches, make a double crochet going all the way around. You're going to make two rows of these double crochets. I'm not going to make a row, come back, make another row. I'm not going to do that. So make another two rows of double crochets and then we're going to go back into the bobble stitch um, everything's lining up good just keep going around making your double crochets into each of those stitches and you should be back to nothing but 70 double crochets going all the way around 
do this again for two more rows and we'll go back into our bowel stitch for the next row. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and we have our additional rows of double crochets going around. We're back to the seven double crochets, 70 double crochets. Go ahead and slip stitch and chain two. Now we're going to go into our bobble stitch, but instead of making 10 double crochets going around, we're going to make five. And then in your sixth stitch, you will make your bobble stitch. So this is double crochet two. This is three, four, five. And now in this sixth stitch, I'm going to go ahead and make my bobble stitch. Remember, you yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over again, go back into that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. One more time, yarn over, go back again, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through six, leaving you with two, yarn over, pull through two. Do not change. So now do another five double crochets going across. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can um, make them uh, further apart, make them spaced further apart if you want to. This is just how I'm going to do that. But you can do the pattern however you want to when you get to these bobble stitches. So I'm going to make my five and then go into my sixth stitch with another bobble stitch. When you're making the bobble stitch, you're going to go into that same loop three times. That's going to ensure that you have those seven loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over, pull through all six, yarn over, and pull through those last two loops on the hook. And just repeat this going all the way around. So I'm going to keep making these stitches and my bobble stitches, and I will meet you back at beginning of the row. Remember, after you make your bobble stitch, you make five double crochets, one double crochet going across, and then make your bobble stitch. I'll be back. Okay, so I am getting closer to the end of the row. I think I've made my five double crochets and I'm about to do another bobble stitch here. So again, yarn over, pull up your loop, go in, three loops onto the hook, the loop that you, when you yarn over, that counts as a loop as well. So now you have four. When you yarn over and pull up that loop, that gives you five loops on the hook. Remember, the two count as a one. Two strands count as one. And you have five loops there. And your final yarn over, that's your loop number six. Go into the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. That's loop number seven. Now yarn over. Go through all six of those loops. You have two left. Yarn over and pull through two. Do not chain. So now just keep going to the end with the rest of these double crochets. And when you get there, you should have five double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So once you've made your last double crochet, go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain two. Now we're going into another row of bobble stitches, except we're going to come over a little bit further than we did in the previous row. So we're going to bypass that first bobble stitch. So I think I did 10 chains. That's one, two, not 10 chains, double crochets. Three, four, five, and go right into that stitch of that bobble stitch. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I think it was the 10th stitch, yeah. So I did nine double crochets and then I did my bobble stitch in the 10th stitch. So make your bobble stitch, pull through six, 
yarn over and pull two and then continue on again and make another 10 double crochets going around and then your bobble stitch now i think at some point i came a little close to the other bobble stitch it's not a big deal you can scatter around the bobbles or you can be you know neat put them in diagonally neat it's completely up to you i'm just gonna make my nine and then make my uh, bobble stitch and continue on from there so do that continue with the pattern and i will meet you back at the beginning or at the end of the row okay so now i'm at the end of the row and i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one and now what we're going to do is go back into that first stitch with a single crochet and make one single crochet going all the way around you should still have 70 single crochets going all the way around your project and i'll be back okay so go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch for the last time and chain one and go ahead and cut off your yarn and we'll continue from there so we're just going to start weaving in my ends here just go ahead and remove your hook make sure that knot is nice and snug and go ahead and weave that in so i'm going to cut here and go ahead and weave in my ends and when i come back we'll continue from there okay so i have everything weaved in i'm just cutting off my yarn making sure i have all of my ends weaved in so as you can see this is the beginning of our work here not too bad it's not too ugly with that chain there um i look i think it looks really good so <laughs> let's continue on with that right here so now i'm just going to show you what she looks like on the mannequin there's your front post double crochets and your bobble stitches so let me show you what that looks like be back okay so here she is on the mannequin as i said in that front portion you don't have to have it drooping so far you can do 60 um double crochet or 60 chains or 50 chains but you do want to make sure that it fits over your head i just like the fact that it droops here i like for mine to be a little droopy in the front this is the back as you can see all of those front post double crochets and the bobble stitches up at the front so it came out really well again guys you don't have to use double yarn you can use a thick yarn you can use one strand that is completely up to you that's what i love about this pattern it is adjustable to your liking and then if you get a little chilly you can always fold that in the front um, or add a button or maybe even a brooch there to keep you even more warm but um it came out so well i really love this very red yarn this yarn that i got from joann's it's so soft and it works really well it works up really well no snagging or anything like that it looks great whether you're using one strand or two so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on facebook and instagram at kf tie handmade crochet i will see you in the next video see you next time bye bye